the benefits of being a Freemason. It's hard to put into words just how much it means to me, how much it's helped me, how much I've grown from it as a person, how much of a relief it's been because I felt a need to want to do more for my community and more for my area because I was so grateful of being there. Um, and I knew that there was a lot of help needed and I enjoyed doing things like, you know, charitable deeds, you know, and, you know, the idea of going on like an AIDS walk or cancer walk or something, you know, those were really important to me and, and are, and it is, you know, something that I enjoy. Um, so knowing that these are to be like-minded men, you know, I felt, okay, you're telling me that you're just like I am, you know, um, it really helped when I got it through to my head that they could help me accomplish a lot more within the realm of doing charitable deeds and, you know, things like walks and everything. Um, and could help me with getting my, my thought at that point of becoming the Easter Bunny for the children's hospitals. Um, they could help me with that, you know. And when it came to the idea of like-minded men, um, the benefits of Freemasonry really are that you're around a lot of guys that you can count on, that you know are decent people, that, you know, if you've got a problem, you can turn to them. You can have someone to talk to you and confide in, and, you know, that it's, everyone's there for you. You know, the benefit with me, like I had, you know, posed from the very beginning before I even was a Mason, that, you know, I would do online and I would try and help online because there wasn't really much that, you know, was online from Masons, but more of all of these attacks and slams. And I knew that something wasn't right, that you just can't have all of this. And like, I just didn't believe it within me somehow before even knowing, you know. So I've met people along the way in person and online that are brothers in masonry now. Um, and I really have bonded with people and made friendships that I really hope last a lifetime. No, we're supposed to. It's supposed to, you know, because we have, you know, our bond and our obligation, our ties and all of that for the rest of our lives. But, you know, people suck sometimes. Sometimes you have a best friend in life and you couldn't possibly imagine your life without them. And without, you know, something that you end up kissing a Bible on, you know, I mean you're not going to have them for the rest of your life. You really should enjoy the time you have with the people that are surrounding you at your present moment. Because in any given moment, and people automatically assume in a case of death or accidents, you know, that would lead to a death moment or something where you're not friends anymore, you know, but sometimes people do suck and you end up not having your best friend anymore you know, and they're still alive, you're still alive, but you're no longer friends. And all throughout the time that you were, you wish to God they'd be in your life for the rest of your life, you know? You couldn't possibly imagine it without. So unless you're both doing, you know, like a whole, like, let's kiss the Holy Bible and swear on an oath kind of deal, you know, they're not going to be around forever. The true benefit of Freemasonry is that we actually do do that sort of thing. We swear on a Bible and, you know, all of that. That you can count on me for the rest of your life. I think that's one of the greatest benefits I've, I've 
received. And it's something that I will give as well. You know, I will always be there for these people. Um, because in my heart they're worth it. And I'm worth it. And I'd love for them to be my best friend for the rest of our lives. You know, and I'm honored and proud to be a Freemason. You know, not just because of what it means in the past, you know, and that was pretty special in history, you know, but what that means to me is I'm a part of that. I'm, I grew up a huge, huge freak for Beethoven, man, ever since I was in like third grade, I think it was with Miss O'Keefe, um, you know, I instantly fell in love with Beethoven. I, and all I knew was that one song, The Moonlight Sonata, and that's all I needed to know. The man behind that piece of music touched me in my soul, in my heart, you know, and I just, wow, Beethoven. And now I get to grow up, and I still have those little childlike oohs in my moment, you know, and I'm a brother to Beethoven and Mozart. You know what I mean? Like, things like that is so cool. <laughs> You know, and whether you like these people or not, you know, like the, the George Washington, you know what I mean? Like, that's my brother, you know, that's awesome to me, really sweet. But it's the people in your moment now and that you meet along the way in your journey, your Masonic journey, that mean the most to me in my life. If it wasn't for my ex and for my brothers in masonry and my cousin and his family I don't know where I'd be right now man you know you don't want to think about moments but I've had a lot of scary ones you know I, I don't know where I'd be so it's family and masonry and my ex that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with who doesn't want to be with me anymore. So there's an example of someone who didn't swear on the oath and have that family bond, you know what I mean, that I wanted throughout the rest of my life and will not be with me anymore. So there you go, dude. You really come to see you've got your family. you got your brothers. They're there for you. And that's really all you got in the end of your days in life kind of deal, you know. Um, you don't grow up with the same best friends you had all throughout your childhood. That's a very rare, rare case in life. Hopefully, it'd be great if it did, you know, with some of these people. But really, in the end, I mean, like, your best friends aren't there for you. And when you really need them, you find out they're not there for you. But you can count on your brothers in Freemasonry, and you're supposed to be able to count on your family. I've had to learn the hard way that I don't really have family. You know, I mean, outside of my cousin and my, my brother, but my brother's not in a position where he can help me right now because he can barely help himself. So all I've got that I can count on, really, outside of family, is my brother's in Freemasonry. Oh, I did my nails, by the way. Um, <laughs> rest in peace, PJ. Really, rest in peace, PJ. Thumbs up to you. God bless you. Turning into, what was it, Kylie Ann? You know, you got to go up into heaven, transition up into your into yourself, baby. You know, and God bless you. Rest in peace. Um... There's a brother, a couple of them, but really, like, I've got my brother in New Jersey. His name is Clay, and his last name is like a guitar. Embrace my inner bad buttness. Um, <laughs> I love guitars and metal. Um, really, dude, I, you know, in Freemasonry, it's brothers you've yet to meet, and... You know, he's one of the ones that have shown me that. And I'm really grateful for him for that. 
you know. Um, he's shown me that, you know, when you're a Mason in your heart, welcome to Freemasonry. And really, I can't even begin to tell you how many moments I'm having in my day where I'm like, God bless Freemasonry. So the true benefits of Freemasonry. It's not about the monetizational awards and, and, you know, all the crap that I'll receive in my life, is, you know, with fame and fortune being, you know, working my way to the A-list, um, you know, because I'm an actor and shit. Whoops. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I won't swear again. Um, the real benefits of Freemasonry are that you've got people that you even went as far as swearing on a Bible, taking an oath and all of that, and kissing a Bible, there you go, that you'll always be there. And that's something you don't have with people you grow up with and your best friends along the way. And we're not supposed to do you wrong. We're supposed to look at you as though you've you've shown yourself, you've earned your right to say you're my brother in my heart and that I will always be there for you. So, I think some of the biggest benefits in Freemasonry are you're going to have people in your life that you wished you had all along. And that you know you can actually count on when you need them. Because even in the end, like I said, you can't even count on your family. Let alone your best friends, because they're not blood, and blood's supposed to have more of a tie. Sometimes they don't. And that's okay, dude. You go live your life. I'll be fine with me and my own. So, I am proud of being a Freemason. I am grateful. I have my God bless Freemasonry moments. Each and every day I'm alive, man. I thank God for Freemasonry. And my family that I can count on. Because I don't have very many people in my life that I would want to even bother asking, let alone I knew I could count on, because those are even fewer and farther in between. And are there any? If you've had any questions about Freemasonry or any negative thoughts without knowing anything about us, you sit down and you watch my show, and I've barely scratched the surface. You watch my show, man. You'll learn all about it. And lately I'm covering everything that we learn in the Blue Lodge, which is where you start in Freemasonry and you enter your Masonic journey in life. First, second, and third degrees. Up to, you know, it's Aaron Apprentice and Fellow Craft and, and Master Mason. And I'm a Master Mason and that's, you know, that's as high as you go in Freemasonry. Anything else is just a number because it's, you know, a pendant and, like, really as high as you're going is a Master Mason. And to me, it's, I kind of always think you're an entered apprentice throughout your entire life. You know, at the same time, you know, being a Master Mason I learn more and more and more about being a Master Mason every single day. I, every day I have God bless Freemasonry moments. Things reflect on me that I've learned along the way, and you will too. Little things in your life, you remember moments, you remember words or clips out of a song or a picture you saw, or you remember things, right? Things flash into your mind all the time. And with me now, since I've become a Mason, um... It's what I'm learning to go along my path to enlightenment and walk a God-realized life. And, you know, instead of being, you know, negative in any way, shape, or form, I want to look at it in the best. I want to be the best person I can be, and I want to be better than I was the day before. For that, God bless Freemasonry. If you have any questions or comments along the way, take time and watch my show. From there, go ahead and ask all the questions you want, man. 
um, you know, because I'll know you know more about it and everything, and if you still have questions, like, you're not just being dumb about it, and you're not just trying to slam, you know, we get enough of that. <laughs> I hope all of you are having a wonderful day today, or evening, because I know a lot of my fans are all over the world, and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you along my way. I am having a rough time in life right now in the moment. You know, my relationship has ended now almost a year ago, and, you know, I'm having to start my life all over again, you know, build myself back up again, brush myself off. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your evening. Do something that makes you feel good. Take a few minutes out of your moment before you rest your head. Think about the things that you have that you're grateful for in your life. And the things that you would be grateful for that you would like in your future. Don't worry so much about all the negative things that are going on and... I need to remember that and speak to myself, which is why I'm looking at myself in this camera as I said that. Everything will work out, everything will fall into place is what I need to keep reminding myself. Everything is meant to be, everything is for a reason, they say, and everything is always for your greatest good. You can look back at the end of your days in life and be like, wow, well, yeah, no, I thought it was rough. I don't know how I made it through, but look how much better it is now. Thank you, Freemasonry, for helping me along my way. I'm proud to be a Master Mason in California. I'm going home soon. Home sweet home. God bless you, Motley Crew. Now I'm going to go up and take a a nice little luxury bath, I'm sure. And uh, I'm putting my Motley Crue shirt back on. I need to start feeling better about myself. You know, get my inner bad buttness going back on, you know, and stop being down and depressed over things that have gone on. And for that, uh, once again, thank you, Freemasonry. You keep helping me along my way. Namaste.